guys Jennifer here welcome back to my channel today I have for you a journal that I created as a design team project for a shabby art boutique I created this using this month's kit it is called tea time friends and if you're interested in joining you have until the 14th I believe you can check out the link below it gives you all the information and tells them that you came from my channel so thank you if you decided to do that but I wanted to show you that I made a quick journal as well I did several embellishments a couple of other videos and I'll leave those in, in the link below or I mean in the description below so I created this pretty little journal using a tutorial from 49 dragonflies I believe I will leave her link to her tutorial below but I also have a quick video after this explaining what I did to put it together. So if you're interested in that, you can watch that. So um, on the front here, I have these, this is all made with envelopes, different sizes. And I use the envelopes that I do put in my coffee dyed paper packs. So if you're interested in that, you can um, check out my shop and there I have them listed on pre-order at this time. So I, uh, I put that together with those envelopes and on the front I have just a little doily and this um, dangly flower and then this little puffy flower here and I did put some of her die cuts in the background these papers are here are all from the tea time friends collection and it opens up here with some muslin that I dyed and and here is one of the envelopes here with a couple of the cut aparts. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> I just have had so much fun with this collection. And then look how pretty she has the coffee cup or teacups with the flowers in it and the teapot. I just put a little piece of eyelet trim there with a safety pin there and some beads. And then here is the other, one of the other envelopes. And I just left them like that so I can make a little pocket. You can do anything you want. You could cut open the side and use that as the pocket instead and just cover that. So there's lots of possibilities with this. And here's one of the journaling cards. I use one of her little images there. And then this little um, heart came in the kit and I just cut it out and I made a tool shaker. So isn't that fun? I just had a lot of fun with that and I just thought that really made the cover because you know you have a little shaker on there and it doesn't take up too much space with the tool which I really love. And then I use this pretty little pom-pom trim on the edge and then on the inside there's a little pocket and I put one of the die cuts there and then in this little pocket I have a tag that I created using the background pages and then a little just journaling booklet that I also made with the background pages just a little notepad and you can see that I put the papers in the background as well and so the difference between the one that um, she made uh, and the one I made was that I think she sewed in the signature but I just did a temporary one with the elastic um, I did sew these envelopes on so these envelopes are stitched in but the papers here are you know can be removed and that way if you run out of room you can add more to it so that comes right out and i attached it with some eyelets right there so super easy just two eyelets and then it just slides right in there super simple And then here on this flap, I had added my little doily pocket that I made with the images on there. You can tuck little goodies in that. 
And then here I have another pocket right here. And I just put in a bunch of the journaling cards there. Jot down little notes. A little tuck spot down here with some of the images. And I put a couple of the tickets in there. And then this is another envelope that flips out. And I just put a few images there, just some little flowers, and then um, a couple of the cut aparts. And then this pretty little envelope was a freebie. Super cute, and I have a couple of goodies in there, and I just wrapped it with some twine. So I thought that was so pretty. So when you join the uh, sign up for the newsletter, you'll get a newsletter um, several times a month, and she has lots of freebies every month, which is really awesome. And you get a lot in the um, paper, the digital kit that uh, she has every month for such a reasonable price. So this is one of the images I put there, and I covered all of these with the images, the background papers. And then I made this little pocket with her little corner pocket and then a couple of the die cuts in there and then this envelope I made a little pocket and I just put a little piece of one of the background pages in there and a pretty little fabric cluster there so super pretty and then back here are the other two the other side of those two envelopes so i put one of the kitties in the pocket there and then over here i put a couple of more little tags that i printed out a little bit smaller to fit right in there so that is my little journal guys I had so much fun creating this. I really loved that project. Um, and I've been wanting to make one of these for a long time. So there you go, guys. I hope you like my journal. And um, check out the information below if you're interested in joining up. Thanks so much for stopping by. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this together. You're going to need three larger envelopes now you can do this any size you want i just like the tall long ones these that i have here are the ones that i put in my coffee dyed lace coffee dyed paper packs and this is four and an eighth or like ten and a half centimeters and by nine, almost nine and a half, but not quite, by tw almost 24. Okay, so you need three of those, and then you're gonna need an envelope that you're gonna use to wrap around. I'm using these two sizes. The size is four and three quarters by um, six and seven eighths, and then a little over 12 centimeters by seventeen and a half, and then this one. It's like one of the standard small envelopes that I put in my lace paper packs as well. And this is 16 centimeters by 9. And I'll leave the measurements below, the ones that I used. Almost 6.5 by 3.5. Okay? You just need to have like the varying sizes. These are These layer on each other really well and they wrap around this really well. If you don't have that size, you can cut these down and make them little pockets and stuff. So whatever you want, you know, just use what you have. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna stick this one in here. 
like this. Super simple, you guys. Hate to cover that, isn't that so pretty? But these were actually my flops, so um, ones that didn't turn out 100%. So let me go ahead and glue that. I think before she glued that in, she cut this straight down to make, um, you know, flat. But either way, you can do it whenever. I'm just going to slide that in there. Okay. And then I'm going to cut the pocket. And um, you don't have to worry about being super straight on this. And I'll show you why when I go to cover the uh, envelopes. I'll show you how I remedy that. Because I certainly did not cut it straight. <laughs> And then do the same for this one. Okay, so now you have something like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and glue this back part here. And then this one going to glue right on top of here like this. So I'm just going to cut a little bit of this off. Okay. against it. your little trifold envelope okay and you can um, make sure you give yourself a little bit of room there so that when it closes it's not too much of a hassle okay and then you want your two envelopes and you fold them in half and that's going to wrap around there like that. You can have it however you want, big as you want. So you have your cute little journal there. All right, I hope that was helpful. Thanks, guys. Okay, I have all the papers decor um, cut and sewn uh, for ready for me to decorate this journal. So let's go ahead and get started. Aren't these gorgeous? Um, this is for the this month's kit, and it is the Handmade Club by Shabby Art Boutique. And it is just so pretty. Blush and aqua. Just so pretty love this and look at how pretty these are oh my goodness you guys and these this there's more so um you'll have to go check it out i'll leave my link below if you're interested okay uh so the first thing i'm gonna do is cover the front here 
Now, thinking about closure, I am going to be using probably this top one as my closure. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that instead of the journal part, uh, the envelope part, this envelope. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, go ahead and cover this up. Weather is still beautiful here. Really enjoying the cool, fresh air. I think this is gonna be so fun, this little journal here. Isn't that just precious? I love it how she does all of that um, collaging in there. Okay. Let me cover the outside here. And I think I used this one. I wanted this one for the middle. And then this one for there. Okay. So I used on um, the edge. Um, my uh, Tim Holtz tonic oh, my goodness. Forget the, edge, the name of it I'll put it right here because it's slipping my mind <laughs> okay and this last page Deckle Edge Deckle Edge Trimmer <laughs> So your edges won't be perfect because, you know, envelopes are just never perfect, especially when they're coffee dye. And uh, so I kind of wanted it to have that uneven edge. All right, so now on the inside, let me show you what I did so that you don't have to worry about this being exactly even across. Um, I made a fold over so I can tuck this in the pocket here and then and that way the, your paper's even so if this side is is higher it's only gonna stop at that side but you can see that I didn't cut that even but it will still look even because of the way that I folded it over and it gives such a nice clean edge so I did that for all of my little pockets. Okay. And then this one, I have the pocket here and I made this like this. And then I'm gonna slide this into there. So it's one even piece. And it's a little easier than having to cut all these different pieces. So, there you go. Okay. And that will be like that. And then I made another, I cut another piece here to slide in here. And then to slide in here. Pretty cool, right? So then it looks so finished nicely, right? 
And I only sewed around here. I did sew this and this, but I did not sew this background piece. You can if you want to, but I don't think it's necessary. It'll kind of look a little bit different. All right. So there we go. I just have to glue this stuff in. So the first thing I'm going to glue is this piece. I didn't go all the way in, so I don't have to. And I think I'm going to do one side at a time so it's easier. All right, so let's go ahead and try to get that in there. Okay, there we go. And then we'll go ahead and try this one. There we go. I love how the teacup kind of peeks out a little bit. So pretty. This one in. Okay. So I hope you guys are doing well. You guys are crafting. Tell you, it's so good for the soul. I did ink everything and um, kind of make it look a little more distressed. Right, this one it's a little tricky. I think I'm going to do this first. It's always good to go on vacation and revive and refresh yourself, but um, it is always good to get back home, you know. Um, it's, it's awesome to be home. We really missed our dog. We had a hard time being without her, but we have such a great um, person that... Um, takes care of our dog. She brings her too, so. Peace of mind, you know. Okay, well that should stay there. Okay, then this one, I'm going to go over that. So nice. So here we have your completely covered. I just remembered something. I'm sorry, before you glue this part down, you need to, I wanted to have a flip here. So I have paper to cover this. That was my fault, you guys. And this will go on this. 
Let me go ahead and glue that down. And what that will do is that will go right under here and that way you won't see the hinge. Okay. Let's see, do I need to... I don't need to glue anything because there's so much glue there already, so we're good. And then I have this piece to go right here. Just to kind of have another interactive flap, flip flap. Love it. We have a little thing there. I'm going to snip the edge off once it dries. We have a little tuck there, here, here. Okay. That is so cute, you guys. So the envelope that I use is the same one I was gonna wrap around the front, so similar. I just cut part of the flap off. So I'm gonna go ahead and, I think I was gonna use this one for here. Oh, I didn't sew these. And then this one for here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sew those before I sew those on, and those will be how I do that. I think I'm gonna cover, I'm not sure, I was thinking I would cover just this part so I can have little tuck spots there. I think I could do that there too. I'll be back and I'll show you how I finish up the using this as a closure. I think I might have to be up a little bit more, like right there. Okay. All right, guys. So that's how I put it together and covered it. So I hope you like this project. Thanks so much for watching, guys.